Hello, my name is Leila. I'm the wine director at Reed's Fine Foods and Reed's Runaway Gourmet. Reed's Meet the Farmer is considered to be the best in the city. It's actually called a cut above. So here with us is Mac again. Uh, another smiling face at Reed's and he is going to tell us the difference between baby back ribs and spare ribs. Uh, when I was looking for a dish that would pair well with the wine I'm going to present next on this uh, Spain episode, and I start thinking totally out of the box and thinking, well, you know, I think this is really going to work and we're going to try it later. Uh, when I present the wine. But I think uh, there is no better qualified person than Matt to tell us about the difference between the two of them. So take it over. Okay, uh, what we have here is our baby backs, which is 99% everybody's favorite ribs, okay? They come off the pork loin itself of the pig. So and it's the top. It's the top, it's right going down the back of it. And uh, these actually protect the pork tenderloin and the pork loin. Okay. okay and uh, these are very tender. There's usually a membrane on the back, but as you see, we sell them without the membrane. And they're more and tender. And why is that? Why do you take well, the membrane off? They're more tender, you okay. know, and they're really tasty. So if the you fire do that. goes directly on the bone, basically. Yeah, it goes. Start cooking through it. Exactly. Okay. And these are uh, made to be cooked slow. That's why they're juicy and they're tender when you do that. It's best to sauce them toward the end, and uh, that way, if you got any kind of sugar in your sauces, uh, it, okay. they won't burn. Okay. Now, we don't have any spare ribs here, but spare ribs come off the side of the pig. Okay. They're lean and meaty, but they're also a little fatty, and they not as quite as tender as these. And the the most desirable is the baby back, not the spare ribs. Well, you, you kind of see baby back ribs in just about every restaurant menu uh, yes. to be considered the, the most tender, the most right. flavorful. And like you said, there is uh, two ways to actually make them right. uh, with a dry rub or marinated. Uh, exactly, uh, exactly. So, um, but, but this would be considered your favorite. My favorite, and this, like I say, by no means everybody loves okay. baby so, back. Yeah, I know that. How long does it take to cook? You know, it depends on how hot you got your grill. Your grill. Okay. Right. If, you can also steam these also you by, what? you know, steam, steam them, you know, steam by covering them. Yeah, I, I have you know. seen that method as well. Yeah, it's, like it's very that. nice and they get real tender. But, you know, uh, if you do have them open on the grill, uh -huh. you need to keep them wet, meaning, you know, you need to keep them soft. Them. Yeah. We have to baste them right, right. so they don't dry it out. Right, exactly. You know, after they've cooked, you know, for a about 45 minutes, you know, start, minutes. yeah, then I would start to really baste them. But beforehand, you can always dry rub them, and they're yes, real nice. And, and I guess for that method, we, we switch later to Ryan, right. who is the best in making his bed ribs, so yep. baby back ribs, which is what we use in our menu all the time. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be back with uh, going to another country and presenting uh, another okay. thing. So thank you so much. Thank you.